Hi, in this video I will show you how to increase your lead quality in the realm of Facebook advertising while simultaneously reducing your cost per conversation. The key is the automatic sending back of conversion data to Facebook. Let's dive right in. It might seem a bit complicated at first, but it's absolutely worth it as you'll significantly improve your leads in the long run, automatically reducing your advertising costs. To prepare, you need to create a Facebook pixel if you haven't done so already. If you are unsure how to do this, I recommend High Level's Help Doc, which explains the process step by step. Also, it's crucial that your Facebook account is correctly linked under Settings, Integrations. Last but not least, you should ensure that your Facebook form is mapped correctly and the status should be enabled. You can find it here in the Facebook Form Fields Mapping tab. Now we will create two workflows to ensure our desired process runs smoothly. For this, we go to Automation and then Create New Workflow. Here we choose Start from Scratch. And then we're in. As we know, this always starts with a trigger. So we click on Add New Trigger. And the trigger should be Facebook Lead Form Submitted. Here, under Add Filters, you can specify which form should be used. However, if you only have one form, you don't need to do this. Save Trigger. And now we move on to the action. For this, we click on the plus here and look for Create Update Opportunity. As always, we can adjust the name here if we find it more clear. Then we search for the pipeline. Of course, you should set up a pipeline, including the stages where you know by the name that it's this pipeline. I will use one I have preset for this example. The same goes for the pipeline stage. For the opportunity name, I recommend taking contact full name because it's the clearest in the pipeline and the various stages. This way, you always know exactly what your lead's name is and which stage they are in. Next, I've entered a lead value here. For example, $1000 and the status is open. We save all of this and then we have it standing here. Afterward, we go back up to settings and turn on this toggle here. Allow re-entry. This ensures that a lead can enter a workflow more than once. We also save this and go back to our builder. Make sure you've clicked save in the top right and then you can click publish to publish this workflow. Then we have the first of the two workflows completed and now move on to the second. We go back and create a new one, also from scratch. For the second workflow, we use the trigger pipeline stage changed. Can adjust it again as we like and say add filters first in pipeline and we had chosen this pipeline and second add filters pipeline stage and we are taking this stage as an example. We save all of this and then need only one action for which we choose Facebook conversation API. After we have also adjust the name here if we want to we change the event type to lead event and then we need the access token which you can copy from Facebook. As said if you don't know how to find, you can easily read up on it in High Level's help doc. Everything is explained there with screenshots. And next, the pixel ID. We also enter that here. As stage name, we can put opportunity here and then we have stage name. Then it will be automatically deposited and save action. We save all of this again in the top right and then click on publish. And that was all the magic. Now you set everything up completely and your leads will be optimized, both in costs and relevance. In your meta interface, you will find the so-called lead ads test tool. You could test the whole thing with it. And that's it. I wish you much success in advertising. See you next time.